Today we're going to talk about hermit crabs. Many of you have seen hermit crabs at the beach when you've been there for the summer uh, for sale in wonderful wire screen cages and you've picked up two or three and brought them home and then you wonder what you need to do with them to keep them happy for a long life. I was really surprised the other day when I saw 30 years as being a projected life for these little hermit crabs and I don't think all of them get that far. Hermit crabs live in a house they borrow, just like you rent an apartment or a house, they borrow a shell. And so we have a whole variety of shells to look at, uh, and you can do things with the shells. You can decorate them, you can paint on them, you can add things to them, you can turn them into ghosts if you wish to, all of which is possible because the shell is not attached to the animal. They borrow it and crawl into it. Uh, you may notice that this is a car, but it's also a hermit crab home. So we have a number of hermit crabs that I have brought home today. Some of them are big, some of them are less big. This fella is one that will definitely be a good pet for a long time because he's really a handsome hermit crab. And he'll get quite active in a little while, simply because he's now out of his carrier. The smaller ones, we're going to put in some water because hermit crabs need moisture. They cannot live in a desert environment. They have gills, and those gills have to be moistened. So in our hermit crab environment, we always need to have a bowl of water. I have no problem if you want to put a sponge in it to make it easier for the crabs to access the water and get in and out of it, but as you see, it's not that hard to get out of the bowl if you're a hermit crab. The hermit crabs I find really kind of cute when you have them out of their shell, but don't forget that big pincher that they have can do some damage, and so you don't want to have your finger inside the hermit crab's pincher. If you are holding your pet hermit crab, you want to hold it with your hand out flat because that way it is feeling much more comfortable and there's less of your hand to pinch. If you should ever have a finger that gets caught by the, sh the crab's big claw, the thing you want to do is run it under hot water real quick and that will cause the crab to release and you'll be all set. The big hermit crab, who is smiling at you now, I do believe, uh, is one that carries a very heavy shell. But crabs are interesting because they choose the shell just as you choose your house, based on the size of the opening and the design of the shell. So as you can see, these crabs that we have here are in different types of shells, and we've bought a whole group of other shells. If I had put them in with the empty shells last night, we might have had a crab in the car. We might have had a crab in the dragonfly shell. But I left them in a carrier overnight, and I warmed them up. Hermit crabs like to be warm. You don't find them in the Arctic at all. And they are also nocturnal. So last night when the lights went out and I went to bed, there was all sorts of rattling around in the little carrier that I brought them home in. And those were the hermit crabs out trying to see where the food was. And they were very disappointed because I did not bring food home with me. But they don't need food every day. In fact, food in the cage is the one problem that you have in keeping hermit crabs. You don't want to have too much food in the ca cage because they don't eat a whole lot. And when they take their little wet bodies from the water to the food bowl, they often will end up making a mess with the food. And that's what gets smelly. That's what you get upset about. So feed them a tiny bit. In fact, some people will feed them in a different container so that if you had one of these little fellas, let's pick a volunteer here, and you wanted to feed him, you might put him in a container that had food overnight and then the next morning, take him out, rinse him off, and put him back in his cage. This little guy is demonstrating what I think is a lot of fun, the various things that they like to climb on. 
they really are good at climbing. In fact, if you have branches like this in the cage, they frequently will end up sleeping on top of them. I brought home an item that's a small animal toy, but a crab would just love to have that for a playpen in his cage. You may notice I've got a bowl of water and I've got two other bowls. One bowl is for food, and again, not ter very much. And the third bowl is for sand. Calcium is one of the things hermit crabs need. So this is a substrate that has a high calcium content that I might put in the bottom of the cage. Or I might put sand in the bottom of the cage, but then I've got a lot of sand to clean. So I prefer to put it in a bowl. And a deep bowl is nice because when hermit crabs are growing, they have to climb out of their shell, just like soft shell crabs do. And they need to burrow down into something to protect themselves while they're doing that. And so they'll climb into a bowl of sand and dig down. And then as their shell hardens, they'll come out and start looking for a new shell to live in and wandering around to see what shell is the perfect design for them. Food for hermit crabs comes in a variety of, of forms. We have hermit crab cookies. We have jungle juice, which incorporates water into something that you can put in a bowl. We have treat. We have basic foods. We have all sorts of things that you can feed them. But guess what? In the wild, they're scavengers. And so I have no problem if you want to feed them a little piece of lettuce, a little piece of carrot. Hermit crabs, in general, are really good pets as long as you remember they need moisture and they need to be warm. So in the winter, either keep them with a heating pad underneath, like one of these reptile heating pads, not hot rocks, not anything that is inside the cage, because they will chew the wires. So please know nothing in the cage that's electrical. This is a heating pad that goes under your cage, and the cage that I prefer is a 10-gallon aquarium. Glass is easy to clean, glass is safe, and it works really well. Novel item that we really recommend and very few people have, and that's a thermometer. I ask, what's the temperature? Oh, it's room temperature. My question is, your room or my room? So a thermometer that tells you what the actual temperature in the room is. Right now this one is reading 70 degrees Fahrenheit or 21 degrees centigrade. If I were to put it on top of the heating pad that the crabs have been on for the last couple hours, it would be a lot higher. They were up around 85 and that's why they were so active when I first put them out on the tray. Books about hermit crabs are important, and tip sheets are important. This one is particularly interesting. This is about a lady's mother's hermit crab. She got very attracted to hermit crabs for some reason, and then she had one that she just loved. So she wrote a book about the hermit crab that she had as a pet. As you can see by the difference in their behaviors, you can really have some fun with these little hermit crabs. Uh, this one obviously is an aerialist, and how carefully he's gotten to the top of that branch. I have a story to tell you about hermit crabs, where we lived in the Keys in Florida for a while, and we were one house away from the ocean. Now, the ocean in the Florida Keys is not like you see at Ocean City, Maryland. It's a reef that you're on, and so the water is very calm and quiet. We had a collection of shells that I made in the backyard, and I was picking up all these beautiful shells and putting them in a wooden box. Well, one night, I thought we had a burglar. I got a knife, and I went to the door, and I went out onto the deck, and what do I find but a whole box full of live hermit crabs trying on my shells. It was one about this size that was making enough noise that it sounded like someone was trying to break into the house. I uh, collected him, and we kept him for many years as a pet. During the daytime, they would be hanging in the mangroves or in the vegetation down in the Keys, and at night they would come out and scavenge with whichever they could find, dead fish, whatever it was that appealed to them for that evening. 
So hermit crabs are a lot of fun. I would suggest that if you do have them, you have more than one because they are social. They do interact a fair amount. I would encourage you to be aware that they're going to be active at night and that they can climb. So you want them to have a container that has a lid, hopefully, that gives them enough space to carry on wherever they, they <laughs> care to be. Um, but they are really quite good pets. Anyway, that's the story of hermit crabs. Warm, moist, a little bowl of salt water is a nice thing too. They enjoy that. And uh, you will have a pet that you may have for up to 30 years with very little care. Thank you so much for joining us at Animal Exchange to learn more about the pets that we enjoy and we hope you do too. <laughs>